Welcome to another tutorial for FX 2.7 and in this one I would like to show you another node group preset namely the attractor, the liquid masher and I show you the particle sample shader. So let's create an effect scene and go into our node group presets and we choose the liquid flip one. Put it in our effect scene. Then we create an emission mesh here I use a cube, drop it in the slot, move it up a little, then make it invisible as well so we can see the particles. Then I go into the fluid dynamics and change the simulation domain like this so we have some space. I want to play it looks like this. Next thing, I change the threshold for the velocity display. This looks much better. I can see much better where high velocities are. Then I go back into emission to the duration and I use given in frames. So I can set the duration in frames now and set one frame. So it will only emit in the initial frame. That's what I want. Okay. Now let's create the attractor force from the node group presets. Put it in our scene and we see it now in our editor view. And we can also see the fall off. Here are the settings for it. When I change it, we can observe it changed in the editor view as well. So let's set 200. Move this one down a bit. Take a look from the above and let's play it. Well, wait, first of all, we need to add it to the forces list using the candidate button, of course. All right, maybe set a different intensity, a high one. Uh, so you can see this one is pushed outside in the forward direction spherically. So the opposite of the tractor, but this would be useful for explosions or so. So let's choose a negative value and we can see that the particles are attracted to the center of our attractor object. But outside, the particles are not affected anymore. So let's maybe move this around so you can see this much better, what I mean. Well, so let's change this. First of all, put it back in the center like this. Play it again so we can see the initial state we have now. Maybe zoom out. Okay, so instead of inside, we want it to be outside. So I choose the invert option for the fall off. So now not the parts inside, but outside will be affected. or well, the force will be applied to any particles near that. So we get this wiggling something and all particles are now emerging back into the center. Put it back to the center here. Well, okay. But let's just, you know, copy this one, put it in the forces list, and maybe we can now rename this one, call it suck in outside. That's the one we have. And I call this one push out inside. So I will also turn off the invert option so particles inside are affected. And I'm using a positive value to push them outside. And that's what we get here. And maybe we can choose this one a little higher than that one. Ah, there you go. So in the center, we can see there's an area opening up. What? In the display, let's just reduce this to see better the motion that we have actually. 
So you can see there on the top they're emerging to the center. Let's group this one with, with the Alt key and plus G. All right, maybe we can also increase the radius of the fall off like this. And we get a different one now. Oh, here in the center, the pushing outside has a much stronger effect now, of course. This looks great. I could imagine this being the source for, you know, a fire simulation. So the particles used as emitters. Anyway, let's just create now the masher, liquid particles masher. Put it in here. And uh, what we need to do, of course, uh, here we have the new notes in the pipeline viewer. Uh, what we need to do is, first of all, assign our particle group using the Kenneth button the flip particles and we can see the mash has been wrapped around the particles right away. So this is our render mash. You can see you can quickly generate this with the liquid particles mesher node group preset. And well, i just let it run now. Well maybe we could stop it now and start tweaking our settings. Let's go down here in the surface volume meshing and first of all let's maybe another meshing type, a higher quality one and uh, some smoothing passes. Not much happens because a lot of uh, polygons are generated with this marching tiles one. If I change to marching cubes you can see that this is much smoother now because less polygons are there and the smoothing has a stronger effect then. And marching tets is a little better and smoothing works very well here too. I like that. But maybe we can go a little more into detail. Check it out here. How this looks like. I see a little artifact here. So let's push the surface a little more inside which is done with the mesh surface offset and uh, maybe we can uh, use a higher well, fall off length and we can see that more areas are well solidified if you want so but maybe a little less. Yeah, that looks good. I like this one. So you just keep on tweaking the settings until it fits your needs. I put a material here for my mesh and I choose the Navier FX particle sampler for my luminance channel. I mean, first of all, put it on the liquid particles mesher and then we go into the particle sampler. All right, let's choose our particles, flip particles. We choose the velocity property because I will color the fluid particles based on the velocity. Okay, so down here we have a color gradient that will be applied according to little velocity and a lot of velocity. If I set this to add, um, well, I come back to this one. Uh, maybe I set a higher range, go back to zero. Ah, come on, gotta set it to normal. I could change the color above, but let's just put it to normal. Now play a simulation so we have some velocity difference and there we go. The red areas are low velocity and the white areas are high velocity. And I can change this, the range, so I get a smoother appearance and um, only bright areas in high velocity. 
and of course we can also change the color here and the distribution like this all right I haven't reached that velocity yet not even yet uh, I could change this but let's just lower our range max again yeah that looks much better but we see the artifacts here this is due to sampling uh, higher particles will not work here yet but uh, higher search radius will give us more particles to find and to weight so this looks smoother now so search radius and max particles is what you change we can also change the distribution now so it's smoother like this and let's change it to a more useful color more interesting uh, I like that one like wax and uh, well you keep on tweaking your shader and this should be it we have seen how to use a liquid measure how to use the attractor node group preset and how to use a particle sampler hope it was useful to you and hope to see you soon in the next tutorial